Hello, and welcome back to Fallout 4, This Old Settlement. Uh, this is taking place in a very weird time, right in between, right in the middle of episode 6. Um, do you have to do that right there now? Oh well, it does kind of set the mood, I guess. Anyway, um, I have a bunch of needs I need to go take care of. Um, sleeping, eating, drinking, letting the chems wear off. Um, and then I'm going to start building. Uh, the plan for today, or you know, the next few days, is over here. Working on the wall. I kind of have a different plan for it. Going to see how that works. I both love and hate this now. I kind of want to rework it a little bit and kind of get... This is going to be the kind of the model of the house, I think. I think I'm going to do these to all the standing houses. Something similar, not this exact thing. So I kind of want to make this um, kind of a model uh, of how they go. I don't know if they're going to be all um, a greenhouse. Um, kind of got to see how that goes. Uh, but one thing that's been bothering me, um, well, let's go to first person at this point, um, is this overhang. Uh, it doesn't look like it should be hanging there. And these stairs have no support whatsoever. That would just, that wouldn't happen. Um, so it is kind of bothering me a little bit. I do still like turning this into the food area so like with the butcher maybe i'll do some things back in here kind of decorate this house really kind of make this the first of mm, what will hopefully be many uh similar looking houses um so all of these houses will get uh kind of a second story like this uh and we'll kind of like this be be a bit different anyway i'm gonna go tend to the needs and uh, I'll be right back all right it is early the next morning I am feeling much better but apparently still have insomnia not entirely sure why maybe one day I'll look that up and figure out what's going on um so yeah I think I think I want to start leaving this for now while I kind of just think about exactly how I want to deal with it and I'm going to deal with uh the wall um so i do I, I like the snappable fences like this i think it's a nice but i kind of want it to be bigger really wish those um tall snappable ones would let me do or tall junk fences would let me do these kind of platforms because i think that's one i would like but where were you? Well, anyway, <clears throat> um, so I just have to figure out something that's going to kind of go all the way around uh, and still look good. Um, and been watching, you know, a couple other YouTubers. Uh, well, mostly just no respawn. Um, who does a lot of great building on the Xbox, so slightly different because it doesn't have any mods on. Um, let's go into, go into here and just have a look around. Um, so one thing I knew how to do but then just kind of forgot about it is the um, rug trick. So I just kind of want to see if I can get that working. So it is when you build a rug and then you build something next to it, say a wall, maybe I'm going to do a wooden wall, small wooden wall like this guy, kind of right near it, and uh, then you pick up, yes, oh, okay, there we go. The rug trick. See now I can kind of put this in more places. Anyway, store both those things. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so that does kind of 
open up one of the ideas I had uh, for building walls based upon something I saw in No Respawn's videos. question is, do I want to do it, or do I just want to keep these junk fences because they snap and they make it things really easy and I can go all around really quickly? Um, so kind of making those decisions. Um, quickly start. I'm just going to store this side and, uh, and build on this side first and see kind of how I how it looks how I, if I like it or not um, so floors uh, what are we looking for on a floor um, yeah so what do I got to do here I need to let me think, let me think, figure this out. Ah, that's what I want. I need, so, oh jeez, yeah, it wasn't there. Stairs. Where are stairs? They're in the wood, aren't they? Yes. This guy. Um... I'm gonna do this back here, where I have a bit more room. Uh, and I think there. And then I build a floor. Not, not the shack of a floor, the shack floor. No. Um, Can I just build this one? This is the one I want. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, but if I... Okay. I'll get this. I'll get this. Hmm. Again. Where is it? Come on. This is always the problem with building is finding where it's gonna go. Yeah, but I want it on this side. But I want it on this side. Hmm. Maybe I need to store that as well. Yeah, now I can build it on this side. Hello. Oh, there, yeah, there it is. Oh. Come on. Ah, yeah. Okay, that is not straight in any way. Uh, if I do the rug trick here, will I still have the problem? Where am I looking for? Decorations, floor coverings, rug. No, I still have problems here. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh. Walls. I don't want this part. You go over there. There we go. Yeah, so he just drops right into the ground. Hmm. 
Make me think the junk fences are maybe a little bit better for now. Um, or maybe, maybe what I can do uh, is structures, wood, flooring. Do maybe some of the smaller concrete, which I think is at the very beginning, of course. The little one by ones. Um, I thought these could go into the ground. Apparently it doesn't like to get built there, however, for some reason. We'll go there, which is odd. Hmm. Nope. Got it. Oh, come on. No, anyway, I don't even want all of that. I'm just take some time and just figure out what I'm doing. Oh dear, now it's in the ground. I can't get it. There it is. Figure out how I want to do this. See if I can get it to work. Um, and hopefully I'll be back with uh, with an example. All right. So here's kind of the idea here. Um. So it looks a little larger, and it does take considerably more resources, especially concrete, which, um, you know, something to think about. Uh, so it does have this kind of lookout tower up here where I can put some turrets. Um, and then I would continue building the wall along here, so it would have uh you'd be able to walk along up in here this would all be kind of like the ramparts be another tower over here you know continue on down that way um i do like it to a start a certain extent where i like it kind of the the evenness of the wall is it is all a nice straight line uh, where when I do the junk walls, it's kind of going to be broken up and down. Um, it looks more intimidating. Uh, just these big, huge, huge fortress walls. Uh, I did it in wood just because I have a ton of wood. Um, and I... I don't know. I, I'm not fully sold on it yet, though. I, um, I, I think maybe it's the concrete that's... Maybe not what I like. Um, there are other ways of doing it. Just concrete was the easiest way. Just to kind of continue on with this concrete that I put into here. Um, and this just has, you know, it has a bit of charm to it. The, the whole intersecting. Uh, supports in the middle. Like you can really see how the thing was built with this one. <sighs> I don't know. Um, I think I think what I should do is um, build out this side a little bit more uh, with these junk fences, um, and then see which is better. The other problem is going to be is uh, at least the way I have it set up now is that gate that I had is not going to work anymore. I'm going to have to do something else for the for the gate entryway, which could just be a door. That's, that's fine. But, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to continue on this wall and uh, probably be far quicker. This took a pretty long time to get everything right. Um, I do have this pillar supporting the stairs. I thought it looked nice. Um, 
And if you notice, I've been changing up the, the tiles that I've been using. So nothing is really the same thing repeated over and over again. Um, kind of like, <clears throat> like that monstrosity. So, um, I'll get to that in a second. So, yeah, I'm just going to take a minute and um, continue on the drunk fence to probably about here somewhere and so I can get a get a good feel of which is which is nice. The other thing I like about the drunk fences is I can curve them slightly where this is pretty much only 90 degree angles which is going to get hard in the back of uh, Sanctuary. <clears throat> anyway. Okay, so here's the uh, option one, I guess, and then here's option two, which took maybe about five minutes to throw that together, which was much quicker. Uh, doesn't look like much from right here. Um, things I like about it are is it's a lot easier to put together really quick. Uh, they just kind of snap together and keep on moving. Uh, it does have, which you can see through here, um, sort of some ramparts that you can walk along, <clears throat> uh, as well as places I can put more turrets. That was really easy to throw together. Still looks pretty good. Um, uh, what I don't like about it is it looks kind of small, I guess, where this looks big and intimidating. Uh, this is maybe a little more, a little more sedate. Um, which maybe I kind of like. Uh, it's a little more welcoming. Uh, I mean, you know, as welcoming as you know, automated dirts are. Um, this feels like it has more protection, though. Um, I think. I think I'm gonna just do the junk fences. Um, I liked how easy it was. Uh, it doesn't get in the way as much as this, I guess. This, yeah, this sort of um, takes over. You know, sanctuary becomes the wall. Where this wall, I think, almost blends in better. Uh, you know, you feel secure inside here. Uh, you know, this looks like this is a pretty pretty big wall uh, but it's not you know I kind of jump up and look over I can't climb it mainly because climbing is not in the game but um, yeah I think this is what I want to go with I'm gonna go ahead and just scrap this side it's getting kind of late um, so the sun's starting to go down uh, last time I just kind of continue to build I'm going to um, not do that this time and I am just going to sleep that way you know I see it just makes it a little a little better to see things of what's going on anyway scrap all or store all this and I will be back shortly all right uh, I have spent a little time working on this fence a bit uh, so you can see now this is what I had built. I re-put this in and then I continued it down through here. Most of this is the double fence. Uh, these pieces, the one, these, these one of the big tires are your corner pieces now. They turn. Um, they can't, uh, or they don't take kind of the, the backs. So you can't snap these pieces onto them. Which makes sense, and they're they're a little thicker, so they kind of work. Uh, so I have a few of these little places where I'm going to put turrets and things like that on here, um, since it makes more sense to have like turrets on just these one instead of having uh, the ball walks or whatever um, or ramparts. That's what the word I'm looking for. Um, <clears throat> Did run into a slight problem where it doesn't quite fit. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do in this space. Um, I'll do something that will make sense. Um, 
some stairs or some kind. Um, yeah, actually, I think that a one by one concrete might fit right in there. Let me take a look while I'm right here. Floors, one by one concretes are all the way at the beginning. Wish there was an easier way of like filtering things or something so that you can. No, it won't fit into there. No. That would have been an easy fix because I just would have had a little one by one there. And um, then I could have. Uh... Oh, weird. That's a bridge. On a bridge. Uh, maybe if, can I build a one by one? Anything there? Probably not. It's just a bit too wide, I think. I can't snap it to there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out for that little that little hole here. As it is kind of big. Um, I do want to pull that inside. Um could probably just sort of start the junk fence again over here. So I'll use maybe one of the big tire ones to kind of bring myself out and through here without really breaking too much of this look. Um, but I'll need to think of that later. Bringing this just putting it out front for now so I remember it's there and I'll deal with that later but I do really like the look of it it's um it doesn't take over the skyline yeah, you can still see everything around it where with that other wall it just kind of blocked you in this still gives you that sense of security but it doesn't take over uh, then I'll continue on this side following as much as I can around down through there I'll turn this, uh, I'll place into little, little living quarters. <clears throat> um, so, next thing I need to work on besides this wall is this guy. So I think I want to work on that for a little bit and uh, I will... Okay, well, I have built quite a lot. Um, I have finished my, well, finished the outside of the wall. Uh, most of the wall, maybe about two thirds is still just the single layer, um, which is looking pretty good, even just this single layer that I have here. And that kind of continues all the way around. Um, there was one point over here, which I'm probably going to rework. I'm not super happy with how it came out. Um, it's probably going to be when I build whatever I'm going to build in this area. I will work it into the wall. Maybe this will be like a guardhouse or something like that. That would kind of make sense to have back here. Uh, but you see, I kind of had to build it kind of into, into this foundation. Um, it's kind of the only way I liked how it looked in any way. Um, <clears throat> and then the kind of this area was a little weird as well, since you can't really build around that tree very easily. Um, so this is a little, a little bit of a weird section here. But uh, other than that, it looks uh, really good. I'm going to come back over here and just show some of the f more finished portions of the wall. Uh, where I have the double layer and I have some guard posts set up. I don't have any guards yet for it. I just don't don't have enough people. Um, I've got some turrets. My defense is actually pretty high at this point. Uh, so I built a second gate in the back here, guardhouse, and this kind of is the finished area. So this is really what a finished product would look like. Uh, I don't have turrets out here yet. There's gonna be turrets on these higher ones where there's no real protection but these is where where kind of a guard would stand and this obviously a guard's going to be here um so over here is where i have turrets set up um 
two turrets along back here. So there's one sitting here. I'll probably put a light out here just to eh, just to make it look better. I want to have power. Right now I only have power up in the front. Uh, and then I have two guard posters. One, uh, if you can see it, it's here's the corner of it right here. Uh, for some reason, it, it sinks underneath this panel, but there is a little guard pad, I guess. I don't know what to call them. Uh, one here and one here. So I'd have two guards guarding this area. Um, and then, so what I did on this house, uh, this was the house that had a little gap in it. Um, is I ended up taking away this section and making it a curved one. So it curves out and it actually kind of see goes back behind the house um, some of it is just single walled so oh that's interesting um, some of it is just single walled some of it is double walled can I actually climb over it now okay oh almost can um, it does kind of clip in just slightly into the house but I'm not that concerned when I start decorating it um, and so here we go a few more turrets uh, so pretty pretty good protection at this point at least numbers wise um, actually looking at this defensively all I've got is you know about a quarter of the this place defended the rest of it just has a big wall around it um, and I'm purposely not looking behind me because I have completed well the complete and utter redesign I tore everything down to the beginning and now I have this um, similar in, in a lot of ways to what was there before um, but I think it looks I think it looks a lot better it looks a little more realistic um, you would actually not hate standing on that or I don't know uh, there's still a few things that need to get worked out onto it uh, so just a quick tour I haven't done all of he's just been he's literally been standing there forever uh, I do have just a quick note I have changed time um, to currently uh, it runs as a at one so you can say the time scale to one and that means for every minute that passes in the real world a minute passes in the game um, after about two days of eating and sleeping I decided enough is enough and uh, I'm just gonna set it at that it's literally been uh, maybe you know however long the sun was there and now it's there and I, and in that time I've built pretty much all of this and the wall so uh, I'm gonna be doing that from from now on so I don't have to deal with eating and, and sleeping that much during these well pro probably not at all I'm spending that much time building in an episode that would be uh, pretty boring to watch I would think uh, anyway inside uh, I moved, uh, if you remember I had, the, yeah, he's still just trying to, oh god, um, still trying to stand for this, the butcher, settlement butcher, I moved him back into here, I think what I'm going to do is have this be um, the butcher room, Butch butchery, something, uh, I work in one so I should know, uh, um, and then maybe this, I haven't really decided, I'm thinking like a kitchen of sorts, uh, you know, see it maybe is where they're they're prepping food and this kind of being a serving area. Um, you know, so this is this is still gonna be very food centric, this area, this entire place, except for this little place in the back. So in the back here, um to kind of make everything work, I started by building uh I guess we can call it an apartment. Um because that's pretty much what it's turned into. Um, and then I was able to build off of that. I've tried to keep it so that I only had a one by one overhang and anything that was over a one by one required supports. So as you see, I have some support set up there just to kind of keep a realistic uh, idea of going on. So it does nothing's just kind of floating out into space. Um, so in the apartment, uh, I see it as Preston's, but apparently folks at Finch Farm need some help. Uh, thank you. Men should be the ones that answer that thank you. Yes, that's enough. Oh god, you gave me a quest. <sighs> okay, anyway. 
Um, right. So, um, I kind of made a little bar area here. Um, but like it would, it would be a kitchen, but clearly whoever lives, I see, see, this is Preston's room. Um, as I was building it, that was kind yeah. of what I was going, I'm not talking to you. I know I said your name, I'm not talking to you. Um, I kind of, I kind of see this being his place as kind of, as I was designing, I had him in mind. Um, so he'd have a little place where he can eat and drink. Uh, clearly he's yeah. a bit of a drinker. Shut up. Clearly he's a bit of a drinker. Um, I did install a mod during this called OCD Decorator or OC Decorator. And what that does is it lets you take things from your inventory and place it as yep. decoration. As you see, this is a Nuka Cola -Col bottle and I can't do anything with it. It is there as decoration and slobs like these two can't knock it around. So it'll stay there. So, um, oh God, no, I don't. Um, so I will have, you know, when I have more bottles and stuff, I'm going to put some out here, maybe, um, put some shelving in somewhere, make it look good. And then of course, a Nuka-Cola machine because everyone needs a Nuka-Cola machine. Um, I figured he liked hot dogs. I don't know. He just seemed like a hot dog person to me. Let me come into like the little living room. Um, got a TV that's working. Um, yeah. I don't know why he's watching that, but a couch that we found. Doesn't look very nice, but whatever. And I, yeah, he definitely would have an American flag up. He is 100% an American flag person. Um, this little guy here is a display rack. Um, let me show you quickly what it can do. So you have, say, a weapon. Say you want to put that guy in there and that guy in there. And you see they're displayed. Uh, looks like it does take the base. Uh, I never actually tested it with a modding one. So it takes the base of whatever it is and puts it up there. So you see I have a 10 millimeter pistol and a flare gun. And I can take those off and they come off. But you can kind of make a nice display. So when I have some kind of nice weapons that I think Preston would like, I'm going to put them up into there. I haven't actually checked on this one what a bigger gun looks like. So if I put, say, that in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, take. Thank you. Oops, oh, I'm pushing all kinds of wrong buttons now. Uh, oh, God, because I'm on there. Come on. Thank you. Okay, locker. Um, yes, so then I have, so this was just obviously a big straight shot. Um, so to kind of split up the space, put this locker in, I liked it because it kind of separated what the bedroom is. Um, that, you know, because you don't want to necessarily be sleeping to be all the way open. So kind of break up the space without being a wall. And then um, this would be his, his bedroom. Uh, I feel like this is everything that he would have in it. You know, he's got a nice duffel bag for when he's gonna be going out. He's got his ammo box. Uh, Cause he's not gonna keep the ammo with the guns. That is just not safe. Uh, the Foot Locker and then the Minuteman flag. This is definitely, this is definitely Preston's room. And yeah, Mom, oh, yeah. and Mama Murphy, uh, like as soon as I, as soon as I put this in, she was up in here sitting down and apparently Preston came in, which I'm glad he's in here because this is his place. Anyway, uh, going upstairs, um, again, I'm keeping that as the greenhouse. Uh, I don't know how much food I'm going to be able to produce with inside the greenhouse, um, uh, but hopefully quite a lot. So, uh, I already have, oh, hello, they've grown. Growing well. Don't mind if I do. Um, a few, of, again, the planter boxes. So I'm going to have these out in here. I'm going to keep this. Oh, I'm thinking about, what was that? What did you just fall off? Ugh. I'm thinking about making this kind of like a, uh, caretaker's cottage if you will like a place where like, I'll kind of block it off from the rest of it there'll be like a bed and uh and things and it'll just be I don't know I haven't fully decided uh exactly what to do with decorating in here uh, but I do have it so I'm gonna have more of these lights 
I'd have more, but I'm running out of glass, so I, because uh, of you know glass everywhere. Um, so yeah, I need I need more glass. This thing is still super annoying, and I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna do with that. But I'll do something. And then um, this back wall, I was gonna make more glass, but it was giving me some major major issues. I don't know why. So um, I'll do something with with decorations back there. I'll make it make it look nice. Uh, and then I just have the three um, turbines up there, which I like as the power, and it's they look much better up there than they did when they were kind of on the glass. I like kind of like them on this roof up there. So that is uh, what I've been doing, and at this point. I have uh, run, started to run out of several different resources like glass and oil, um, and so it is time to venture back out. <laughs>